Hi guys, um, I'm sorry for the lack of Christmas baking vlogs. Hey everyone, I hope you're hungry because Jeanette's going to be dishing out some mighty fine food. Oh my. Please comment, subscribe and like and let's get our baking on. That's right. It was a busy time for Pixie and myself, so um, I did bake mince pies, etc. But I did them for the family, EG us. So um, it got mentioned to me to because my lemon drizzle is very, very popular, and everyone seems to like it. It got mentioned I should do a lemon drizzle revisited, but then I thought I can do it but do it with a twist. So what I'm going to do is, it's to the same lemon drizzle recipe, but substituting the lemons with oranges. And the second one, I bought some limes and then thought, well I've got like lemons as well. So, to add another little bit of a twist, I'm doing a lemon and lime one. So here you go guys, just to prove that I have used fresh fruit. There's the lime, there's the lemons. Um, I've lined both the tins, because obviously I'm making two. I've only got one of the cake liners left, so I've had to do the other one with grease with paper. Right, to start off, you need 225 grams of caster sugar and obviously I've had to weigh everything out in double because I'm making two and to that you need eight ounce of unsalted softened butter And now we mix that together. Right, this is where it sort of differs from the original. Instead of putting lemon zest in at this time, I've gone and I've done one zest of one orange. They're not massive oranges, so I have done a whole orange. So we've put the orange zest in and now we put eight ounce of self-raising flour into the mixture. Right, it's as simple as that guy, that's, that, that's it done, it's very simple, it uh, shows you why it's a popular cake of mine, but I've just substituted the lemons for orange, it goes in the pan and um, on gas mark 4 now and that goes on for 40 to 50 minutes um, just till it's well risen and a skewer inserted in comes out clean Right, that's now ready to go in the oven. It's got to be on gas mark four, same as I said before, for 45 to 50 minutes. I'll explain the drizzle bit when it comes out of the oven. So now I've got to do that all again. Bye. Right, it goes for the second one. I'm not going to read out all the ingredients because it's exactly the same. Eight ounce butter, eight ounce of sugar. As before, four eggs.
Right, as before, where I put the uh, orange zest in, I've mixed an infusion of lemon and lime. Obviously, you can see the difference in colours. There's like a green and a, a yellow colour, so that is the zest of a mixture of lemon and lime. So now you mix that as well as the soft raisin flour, obviously eight ounces. Right, so here's number two, ready to go in the oven. Um, I'm lucky I've got two loaf tins, so they can both go in the oven together, one on the top shelf, one on the middle shelf. Now, that is the orange that I've squeezed, and that is lime and lemon that I've squeezed. Now, when these are cooked, I'll show you the bit. You just add caster sugar to the either orange juice or lemon and lime juice and I'll explain everything when, when they're cooked and they're out of the oven. Bye! Right, the lemon and lime cake is still in the oven. Um, I'm not going to repeat this process again because it's exactly the same except obviously the four ounces of uh, caster sugar and that is the juice of lemon and limes so basically you repeat that step what i've just done so what i'm going to do is when that's out the oven i've repeated that step and it's cooled down completely because you have to wait to, obviously for them to cool down um what i'm going to do is i am going to put it to the test i'm going to cut a slice off of each one for callum and a slice off of each one for Pixie and then I'm going to put it to the test see which is the preferred one see you later bye right now is the final test as you can see we've got Lurkio and Mr P this is the final test this is the taste test right here we have orange drizzle Mm. Right, this is this is the orange drizzle. Nice, is it as good as the lemon drizzle? Better. Not nearly as good. Callum says it's better and Mr P says nearly as good. So that's the first one guys, the next one will be the lemon and lime drizzle. Right, excuse you Callum, we're now on to the lemon and lime drizzle. <coughs> So Mr. P, I think that means he prefers this one to the orange drizzle. So, and Callum's opinion is he prefers the orange one. Is this one nice, Callum? So, we've got a differing in, in opinion there. Uh, Yeah, Mr. P gives it a nine and a half out of ten, where he gives the lemon drizzle ten out of ten. Oh, so Callum is is the <laughs> Callum is leaning towards the orange drizzle, and Mr. P likes this one nearly as much as he does the lemon drizzle. So. Thanks for watching guys and uh, I hope you enjoy this. Don't forget to subscribe, comment and hit the like button. <laughs> and I'll see you all soon. Bye. Bye. Bye.